Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Cute Girl. I'm all here doing a quick video for you guys. I recently hauled some items at the beauty supply store, uh, Walgreens, and I want to say Victoria's Secret, and the Dollar Tree. So I just want to show you guys what I purchased. Uh, to start off, I did go to my local beauty supply store, and I did purchase some of the lipsticks from the Kiss New York line. I purchased two of the lipsticks on two different occasions. When I was in the beauty supply store, I saw Platinum D, which was crazy because I haven't seen her probably since we used to work with each other back in the day. And then prior to that, I was in high school. So I was like, yeah, I'm like, wait a minute, is that Platinum D? And I was like, I'm looking, I'm like, mm, I don't want to be wrong. But it was her, and I was like, yeah, she's such a sweetie. She stood there and talked to me for a long time, and yeah, just real down to earth. So I love her work, and I love her channel, so shout out to Platinum D, okay? Now, um, I want to show you guys uh, the lipstick that I purchased, which is, I want to say this is called Whimsical. Make sure I have the name right. Yeah, Whimsical. And this is by Kiss New York, and this is what it looks like, you guys. It's like a pastel color, purple, and I'll swatch it for you guys, and that's what it looks like. I'm sorry my camera's washing everything out, plus it's not helping that I'm wearing this shade of purple uh, shirt. So that's what it looks like, very pretty, something that you could probably put in the middle of this lipstick, which I have on, is, which is heroin, and uh, yeah, I like this shade. I can definitely mix it with a lot of different purples that I have, so that's whimsical. And the next shade that I purchased from uh, Kiss New York, um, and they're, they're called the Moisture Lipsticks, you guys. That's what this is called, and this is what the packaging looks like, and I'm sorry about the pricing. You know, when you go to the beauty supply store, you get this big packaging on here so people don't go into the lipsticks. And this was $2.99. Their lipsticks were $2.99, and I kind of like the texture. So this is what I got. This shade is, okay, this is a uh, Bang. And this kind of put me in the thought of, what is it called, Wolf's Mouth by Kat Von D. And so that's one of the reasons why I bought it. It's a nice, shimmery, uh, pretty color. I want to say maybe burgundy. And it's so pretty. Look at that. Oh, yeah. I, I, it's pretty. I can't wait to wear that for the fall. Beautiful shade. If you guys want to see what the two lipsticks look like, just drop a comment below and I'll make a video showing you what they look like. So again, this is the Kiss New York uh, Moisture Lipsticks. Okay, I also picked up some of the J-Cats Wonder Paints. And of course it has the big packaging on here so no one goes into it at the beauty supply store. So I purchased these two shades. Um, the shades that I purchased, let me make sure I can see it. Oh, why is the packaging always on here like this? If I'm not mistaken, this could be Caterpillar. I'm not for sure, but I'll give you the number. It's WLP103, just in case you want to buy it. And then, <laughs> and this is WLP1113, which is crazy, y'all. But look at these shades, beautiful. Now, I did try on this one. Uh, and to be honest with you guys, I really don't, this is the type of um, lip paint that will get on your teeth. So you know you got to do the finger and you got to make sure that you put it on right so it doesn't get all over your teeth because I don't, I don't like lipstick on my teeth. So this does feather. I just want to let you guys know. This is like a, I want to say maybe like a magenta, like metallic shade. So I'm going to swatch it for you guys so that you can see what it looks like. And this is the consistency of it. I want you guys to see it. Let's get up close. So you see that? That's the consistency of it. And um, let's see. I'll move it around. I hate to make a mess. But that's the color pigmentation of it. I know it's crazy. It's pigmented. Um, it's kind of liquidy. It's a pretty shade. It has like blue sparkles in here maybe purple and then I also swatch um, the lavender like shade this is so pretty this shade right here oh my god that's pretty so 
I mean, if I'm not mistaken, they were like, yeah, they were $2.99. $2.99, yeah. At the beauty supply store. Okay, so I also picked up these two items from the beauty supply store, which was a mistake. I am done with clean color feminine lipsticks. I, you know, you get attracted to the color and you be like, oh, maybe it'll be a hit because I did purchase some of their lipsticks. It was like a burgundy shade. I can't remember the name. That was a hit. You know, I love the color and everything, but for the most part, they're, they're just too slick and breezy like, so. But I mean, they would be good colors to mix and match with other purples. As you can see, I did mix it, so. And sometimes they be messing up the names because I have another lipstick and it has cast a spell on it and it's not this shade. Okay, so that's cast a spell. This is what it says and this is what the color looks like. So, clearly they've had some labeling issues, and it says number six. Okay, the next shade from Clean Color, uh, fam, I wanted to have purple, and this is supposed to be Purple Machine, so, I, you know, I don't know if they're labeled right, like I said, but this is Purple Machine. I do like the color, but look how it comes off. Too shiny and greasy, you know, but it, like I said, it would be a nice color. You can't roll it all the way down. I don't like that either. My lipsticks don't roll all the way down. But that's that. Then, you guys, I got some liners. I don't think I showed you guys these liners yet. If I did, it must have been, you know, related to a different type of haul. Maybe the MAC haul that I did. Um, the, the Big Mac haul. So, this is a lip liner that I purchased in Coco. I may have showed you guys that, but this is, you know, this is what I purchased when I went to the beauty supply store to get the other items. So that's Coco, and it's um, my Nico K, Nico K, it's an auto liner, and it's a brown lip liner. It's good for mixing with your nude shades, and, you know, etc. And this is Plum. I had to get the Plum liner because I didn't have it in my collection, so... I like this because it goes with Talk That Talk. I can wear it with Talk That Talk and I can wear it with a lot of my burgundy lipstick shades, some which I showed today. So this is a pretty liner. I really like the consistency. And to be honest with you, if you just put this all over your lips, it would definitely <laughs> put you in the mind of Talk That Talk because look at the formula of it. See, it's very pretty. Okay, so I got that. Then I got this from, what is this called? Let me see. See, I hate it when they put the barcodes on here like that. This is crazy. So I can't even tell you what product it is. I thought this was a Nana Coco lipstick, I mean lip gloss. But to be honest with you, I can't even tell what product this is. So if you guys know... Let me know. Drop it down below because I can't even see the name. But I can tell you that this is a purple shade. It's shimmery. And the color is called... Oh, it is Nana Coco. Okay. See, it has a different signature. I can't see. Maybe it's a different line within Nana Coco. But right here it says Nana Coco right there. And the shade is Palm Night. So, yeah. I don't know what part of the line it is in Nana Coco. But I definitely like that purple. It's a nice, pretty purple shimmery color. This purple has mm, maybe silver purple reflex in it, you know? So, it's very pretty, a nice topper for some of your lip glosses. You might be able to wear this alone by itself with a lip liner. Then, what I purchased from the beauty supply store is dark magenta. I actually do like um, the Nika K lipsticks. They're only 99 cents. Nice shades. Um, I, yeah, I like them. I don't really care too much for the smell, but once you put it on, you really can't smell it. But they make beautiful shades of lipstick. This lipstick is really pretty. So this is what it looks like. And I'm like, wow. Every time I buy these lipsticks, I, I'm amazed by the color payoff. Yeah, it's, they're beautiful. And if you have a beauty supply store, I would definitely check them out. They've been around for I don't know how long, 99 cents. However, I always used to just skip past them, but I have a few that I really like from this collection. So, yeah. Check Nika K lipstick out for 99 cents. It's it's not bad. It's, it's worth it, okay? Okay. 
now what I want to show you guys, um, I went to Big Lots, okay, I went to Big Lots and I was able to get a couple of items, I think I just, other than food, so, so I can tell you that I got me a Maybelline Illegal Lash Length Mascara for like $3, $3 is upside down, yeah, so that's not bad uh, for Maybelline uh, Mascara. And I always get uh, black is black, but this time I thought I would try brownish black just to see what it looks like. Yeah, we'll see. And then I got this nail polish. Let me see which one I picked. Mm, I want to say I got this nail polish from there. It was for a dollar from Big Lots. And this is Sinful Colors, and it's in go-go boots so this is a nice purple shade to wear for fall and I wear purple all year round so you know whatever <laughs> then I got this um, Avon lipstick and this is from their matte lipstick line this lipstick is called matte berry and this is what it looks like again if you guys want me to swatch these lippies just let me know that's what matte berry looks like and I got it for $5.99. So I will be doing a small Avon haul. And yeah, so just let me know if you want, to, want me to swatch any of these lippies for you. But that is on the lips. And that is Matte Berry. Very pretty shade. I like it. Thought I would give it a try because, um, again, they added a new line of matte shades. So I got some more nail polishes from Walgreens. They were a dollar, if I'm not mistaken. And... These are sinful colors. This one is in Love Nails. I think I might try this color next. I'm not sure. I'm kind of nervous about going this bold. But I really like this nail polish, you guys. Very pretty. Um, I guess you would call this maybe teal. I don't know. Some type of dark blue color. It's a very pretty. Um, very, yeah, very iridescent. So it's pretty. And then... Uh, I'm not picking up that one. Then this nice, pretty purple one here. And this one is called Let's Talk. So that's what it looks like. Can't wait to wear this for fall. And yeah, so we'll see how this works out. Not sure which one I'm going to use when I get my nails done again. Okay. Then I went to the Dollar Tree. And this is what I got from the Dollar Tree here. Which is the Milani Crystal Eyes. And this is a really pretty... Um, Look at the packaging. Hold on, let me put the side back on. This is a dollar. You might want to check out your Dollar Tree because I've been looking at a lot of videos on YouTube and a lot of people are able to find a lot of Milani products at the Dollar Tree. So, this is what it looks like. Look at the packaging. I love Milani's packaging. This is a nice green eyeshadow with a lot of sparkle. i got to try this out. Huh. And that's the consistency. That's how it comes out of the tube. So let me just blend that in. And that's, oh boy. Yeah, that's going to be pretty. It's not too sticky of a consistency, but it's nice. This, I like the fact that they have this. Because this would be um, an easy step as far as adding glitter to your eyeshadow. Hmm. I might want to go back and see if they got some more. Now, they had a gold one, but that gold one was open. I was like, mm, I ain't going to worry about that. But, yeah. So, I did go to Victoria's Secret. And, let me take a look at my receipts. Pretty much, they were BOGO. So, I ended up getting four of these lip glosses for a dollar. You might laugh at me because two of them kind of look similar, which are these two. But, they're not. They, they have different reflex in them. They're not exactly the same shade. But this shade here is Indulgence. And I like Victoria's Secret uh, lip glosses, you guys. I like all the, the shimmery, glittery, iridescent lip glosses. <laughs> Do y'all see that? Put you on a nice lip liner. Oh, I love it. I love this. It's really pretty. It's like dazzle lip glosses. Victoria's Secret, y'all, don't be sleeping on their makeup section. Okay, so this one is, let's see, Candied. That's what Candied looks like. Very pretty, 
pink shimmery. It has blue, pink, and like a dark pink. It's all those glittery shades. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my god. My camera's not doing it any justice, you guys. I'm so sorry. But it is so pretty. Look. Wish you guys could see a little bit better. I'm telling you guys, I'm going to work on this camera situation. Anywho, the next shade is going to be Super Juicy. And this has pink, burgundy sparkles. Nice toppers for your lipsticks. Oh, beautiful. That's what it looks like. Very pretty. You can see all those different uh, sparkles, different types of flecks of glittering. I keep calling it sparkles. This is, this is glitter, clearly. Fine, fine glitter that's in the lip glosses. So, okay, you guys. This is the last product. Your girl is ready to go eat dinner. <laughs> yeah, and happy Labor Day to everybody as well. So, this is. Um, this one here it has the twist top. The rest of them are like tubes, so you know they look like this. But this one, of course, has a doe foot applicator and everything. And this shade is, and this is supposed to be brilliant. So let me get the name of the shade of this one. Let me see, you guys. It's a sparkle gloss, and I don't think it has a name unless it's called Brilliant, but it's a sparkle gloss and that is what it looks like here next to the other one. They're not exactly the same. One is a little bit darker. Very pretty. Nice glosses. So that concludes my beauty haul, you guys. Um, give me just a second. I might have two more things to show you guys. Let me see if I can find the other one and I'm knocking things over. <laughs> Hi, oh, your girl is clumsy. So let me see. Hold on, guys. I got a whole lot of stuff over here. Hold on, guys. Uh, let me find that lipstick. Here it is. So I gotta include this. Why not? Okay. So I did pick up some more Wet n Wild lipsticks, and I want to say I got this from Wal from Walgreens, probably for a dollar ninety nine. Here's cherry picking. I've been wanting to get cherry picking for the longest, and this is what it looks like. Kind of puts me in the mind of Red Balloon and all the other. A darker version of Pleasure Bomb lipstick from Rihanna. Very pretty. I can't wait to try this. I love matte lipsticks. So the next shade is Mauve out of here. And I gotta get Raven Raisin. So that's the next one that I wanna get from this collection. Of course the one it doesn't roll all the way down so you can smudge it a little if you're not careful. So this is uh, Mauve out of here. Wow. Very pretty shade. Can't wait to wear that. So yeah, very pretty. I can't wait to pair that with a purple liner. So that concludes my haul, you guys. I want to show you a few beauty products that I got. Um, let me just go ahead and put this in here too. I almost forgot. I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying to make these videos so quick. But, um, here. Okay. So I got three more lip paints from the original collection, okay? Three more lip paints. And this is Bombshell, Bombshell, Baby Doll, and, um, Hot Mess. So I will be making a video so that I can show you guys what these look like on, even though there are a lot of YouTube videos on here with swatches and everything, but this is Bombshell, you guys. That's what Bombshell looks like. Nice, hot pink shade. It's it's really pretty. Yeah, very pretty shade. And I'm gonna go ahead and swatch Baby Doll. So, let's see what Baby Doll looks like. Of course, it comes with this type of applicator almost kind of like the other Victoria's Secret lip glosses kind of except for this one is black and it has like a stopper at the top so that's baby doll very pretty 
okay? Last shade and last item in this video, and I'm sorry. This is hot mess. So this is another orange. You know, I'm going to try it out. We'll see what happens, you guys. But that's hot mess right there. Right here. Hot mess. So that concludes the haul. I did get these from my local beauty supply store yesterday for $2.99 each, which is a steal. And I did order some more from eBay. So a whole set, probably like six of them, they're only $14.79. So you can't beat that. If you want the link for that, you can, or you can just put in eBay. Just search LA Colors Lip Paints. And then just scroll down and you'll see where um, there's a store that has it for like $14.79 for like six and it was like for the darker shades and the new uh, the new additions that they have added if that makes sense yeah well, anyway they added 12 new shades <laughs> added 12 new shades and I selected the package for the six darker shades <laughs> so I'll talk to y'all later it's time for your girl to go eat dinner um yeah thanks for watching and have a wonderful day bye